20 seconds and counting. Yo, what is going on guys? This is Eric with Clutch City Entertainment and today we're going to be talking about the Astros and why they can win the 2021 World Series. Now, to get started, the Astros have been consistently one of the best teams in the league this season, uh, holding the top spot in the AL a couple times. Now, as of right now, they are not there. They are currently second in the AL behind only the Rays, so odds are they won't catch up to them. But as we've seen in the past, it's not always the regular season that record that matters, and rare times it is, because at the end of the day, it's about how the teams perform in the playoffs, and I believe that the Astros could be up there. And considering the Astros have just gotten players back from injury, such as Alex Bregman and Jose Arcadi, and Josh James supposed to come back soon, I do think that that will be huge because Bregman is batting 297 with an 831 OPS this season while striking out almost as much as he walks. So he's still, it obviously has not been an Alex Bregman-like season because he was injured most of it, but he has still been very good and I do believe that he'll even be better in the playoffs considering that he only has had a couple games to play and even yesterday or two days ago, had a three hit game with four RBIs. So he's obviously just getting started coming back, only being back for a couple games. But I do believe that he'll be even better in the playoffs, like I said. And that's just a product of not only getting more warmed up from being injured, it's also kind of like a warm up because he didn't play that many games to start the season. Now, as for Jose Urquidy, he just came back the other day and he had four strikeouts and two earned runs through four innings. So he obviously hasn't been great, but that is coming off of a serious injury. And his most recent game, he had two strikeouts and two earned runs through three innings. So he hasn't been the best since returning. But I do obviously think that he'll return or he'll return to playing great again because obviously it's the same thing as Bregman. He's going to come back and have to get warmed up to actually play at great levels like he was before. Now Josh James, there is a chance he comes back. I don't know what the chance is, but he is rumored to come back and I don't know if it'll happen but it's a possibility and that would be a nice arm to have in the bullpen. And we can even go to the starters, which are obviously our strong point in pitching, which we have a rotation of Zach Granke, Luis Garcia, Lance McCullers, Jake Odorizzi, and Jose Arque. Now, Jake Odorizzi has been our only bad pitcher this season, but odds are he gets shipped this offseason. He's been making some some very bold claims on media and I don't think the front office will react to that well but that's completely besides the point. Now Zach Granke has not had a Zach Granke-esque year um, starting 27 games with a 366 ERA and allowing 152 hits through 159 innings so this has obviously not been a great year for him but he always does seem to turn up and be better in the playoffs. So I'm going to assume he's going to do that this year. And then next up is the young Luis Garcia, who has a 3.29 ERA, but he has been slumping. And his first 17 games or starts, he had a 2.86 ERA and 105 strikeouts through 91 innings so he has been good this season but a slump has made his overall numbers look worse but I do think he'll be good in the playoffs and he still has a couple games to get the kinks out so he should be all right now next up is Lance McCullers of course one of our better pitchers I'd say him and Luis um he has a 316 ERA and 165 strikeouts through 142 innings. Now, those numbers aren't necessarily eye-popping, 
but he is always known to turn up in games that matter like the game against the Dodgers where we won he was the main reason because he had stuff on the mound and completely were shutting down the Dodgers I won't go too deep on him because if we do win the World Series it definitely will not be because of him but this year he has a 431 ERA, 96 strikeouts, 302 innings, so he's obviously not been good. Now next up is Jose Urquidy, the guy just returned from injury. He has a 314 ERA and 92 strikeouts, 300 innings, and the ERA is brought down a little bit by his past two starts because those were returning from injury and he did not play well. Now aside from pitching, because if we do win the World Series, it won't be all because of our pitching, it'll be a large part due to our offense, because the Astros do have the best offense in the league this season, and there are multiple great players hitting for power and contact, like Altuve, Correa, and Yuli Gurriel, and they've all been great, Altuve with a 276 batting average and an 835 OPS. So he's been great, obviously not how he usually is, but still great, and he is on pace or has already passed his career high in home runs, and Yuli Gurriel has been one of, if not our best players with the bat in his hand. He has a 312 batting average and an 849 OPS, while only striking out five more times than he's walked. So he has one of the best strike zones in baseball. And Correa with a 283 batting average and an 861 OPS. Now let me dive in a little more on the strike zone. Like Michael Brantley, Yuli Gurriel, like I said, and Alex Bregman. They have some of the best strike zones in the league. Brantley only swinging and missing on 11% of pitches. Yuli with 13% and Bregman with 15%. So they all are controlling the strike zone at a great rate. And Bregman is obviously known as one of the best at that in the league. And that's what he's always been known for. Like his 2019 MVP runner-up year where he led the league in walks. So he's always been known as one of the best strike zone commanders in the game. And it's not only them controlling the strike zone. Obviously, they're the best at it. But the Astros lead the league by, as a team in on-base percentage by .06, so it's not by that much, but it's something that the Astros are leading the league in. Now, another thing the Astros are leading the league in is the best record above 500 teams with a 43-31 and 31 record. So we obviously played exceptionally well in those games because the team knows how vital those games are and exactly how important that a loss or win would be in that situation. Now, not only are we leading in the best record against above 500 teams, but we sit at second in run differential, and that's huge because that can separate the good teams from the great teams. Now, uh, that just means that we are coming away with a lot of blowout victories and that we can easily put up a lot of runs while holding another team down so that definitely means a lot and another thing about like mentally about how important they know it is they're playing with a chip on their shoulders see Correa has been the main one he has called everyone out he wants smoke with everyone ever since the cheating scandal has came out he wants everyone to know that just because the Astros cheated, it doesn't mean that they're, that's the only reason they won the World Series. And he especially called out Cody Bellinger for saying that Altuve stole Aaron Judge's MVP. So, and all I'm going to say is ever since then, Cody Bellinger has been pretty bad. Not not saying anything, but that's, that's, that's it. Now, Correa has obviously been the main one, but there's obviously been Jose Urquidy, who said that he doesn't care about the booze and that will be in the World Series anyways. And then Altuve, who also said basically the same thing, that will be in the World Series anyways. He said that last year and we were one game away. So I'm pretty confident that we can make it this year, obviously. Now, the Astros obviously are one of the best defensive teams as well. 
with great fielders like Yuli Gurriel. Alex Bregman is usually known as a good defender, hasn't been great this season, but he usually is. Aledmus Diaz, who has eight outs above average, but Carlos Correa is tied for 13th in the league in outs above average, being one of the best defensive shortstops behind Francisco Lindor. So he's obviously known as one of the best defensive shortstops and will most likely receive a gold glove this year, which he definitely deserves. But that's about all I have to say for why the Astros can win the World Series. And I hope y'all like, enjoy, and subscribe. And make sure to leave your thoughts down below on if you think we can go all the way. And peace.